Hello, safe haven mavens. This is Louisa Dykstra. I am your Norwex uh, great grandma, great great grandma, depending on what layer you're in within Catherine's team. So I am delighted to uh, be invited to talk to you, getting ready for the holidays and getting ready for 2020. Can you believe it? It is going to be 2020 before we know it. So I'll kind of give you uh, the scoop of how I approach this time of year and planning for next year. And um, then I'll hang around for a bit and answer questions in the comments. But I'll try to keep an eye on the comments here, too, if you have questions as I go. So um, any of you that have heard me talk before, you know that kind of my passion is the brain. And when we understand how our brain works, life is so much easier and so much happier. So um, the, because the thing is, only 5% of our brain is our conscious decision making, that sort of rational, like I'm going to sit down and decide this and that, and I'm going to consciously take this action. That's only 5% of our brain that's in charge of that. And the other 95% of our brain is what I call our autopilot brain. Now, that's not a neuroscience term, and I'm not a neuroscientist, and I'm not a psychologist, but I am um, a person who has become really passionate about understanding how people work, um, because a lot of times when, when, pe when we've gotten our ideas about what makes people successful, um, we observe successful people. And then we say, well, what did you do to be successful? So the thing is, um, unless some, that person who is successful has studied how to work your autopilot brain, they are what's called unconsciously competent. So they don't know how to unpack. This is what I was thinking. This is how my brain was working that made me successful. All they know to say is this is what I did. So all they're able to articulate is like 5% of what made them successful, which is like, this is the action that I took, right? So um, it's incredibly powerful when we are able to unpack success and say, oh, so this is what is going on in your brain that makes you feel like doing that, um, that motivates you to do that, or that gives you these creative ideas, um, or that makes those words come out of your mouth that way, where people are just drawn to you because they can feel your heart. Like, oh, this is what's going on inside your autopilot brain. So that's what I teach people. And the analogy um, that I have been using lately, very simplistic, but it's, it's pretty effective. Um, with the 5% 95% thing, a lot of times people like as, as hard as we middle school math teachers have tried, not everybody just thinks in percentages. Um, so if you think of 20 horses making up the inside of your brain, hi, Don, hi, Debbie, um, and hi, Anne, and hi, Jessica. Um, so if you think of 20 horses making up the inside of your brain, one of those horses is the conscious decisions um, that you make, the, your conscious behavior, and 19 horses are your autopilot, okay? So if you have those days where you feel like, wow, 20 horses in my head all going in different directions, that's, that's what that is. That's what's going on. So... So what I'm going to talk to you about today is how do you, through the holidays and through um, business in January, February, March, how do you use your autopilot brain intentionally to help things go as smoothly as possible? So <clears throat> it's really, it's, it's just two simple things. One is really getting clear on what you want. And the second thing is understanding what your emotions tell you and how to tweak that so that you're um, so that you're heading toward a good thing. Because when your uh, autopilot horses are all going in different directions, you know what that emotion feels like. <laughs> I don't have to teach you that. So then also imagine like your horses are all, you know, they're all just generally going in the same direction. They're, you know, sometimes they're just calm and all walking along together. And then sometimes they just all united, like take off with power, but they're all going in the same direction at the same speed. They're all working together. I bet, you know, sometimes in your life when you've had that feeling as well. So you don't have to just wait for that to magically happen. We can learn how to work it.
So deciding what you want and then learning how your emotions tell you what your horses are doing. So for instance, let's take the month of December and then planning into January. Um, so what, what are we? We have like six days left in November. So there's quite a bit of time left in November. We still have um, Black Friday coming up for any of you who are doing uh, sales for your customers, even if you're not doing specifically anything, but you're an Office Suite subscriber, Norwex will be emailing a Norwex sponsored Black Friday sale out to all of our customers. How cool is that? Um, so, and then, then Sunday, <laughs> Sunday is December. So Sunday at noon, officially Norwex December starts. So um, I hope whatever you have planned over Thanksgiving, here's how to use your autopilot part. Um, because when you are thinking, oh, I don't know how I'm going to get everything done. And then I have all these people coming over or we're traveling and I don't know what the weather's going to be doing. I, I get myself in that kind of a loop sometimes, right? But then what that does is you can kind of feel the tension in your brain. So what it's doing is it's literally scrunching in your brain and it's narrowing They've done studies on this. It literally narrows your peripheral vision. So not only your literal peripheral vision, but it also narrows the scope of ideas that you have. It lowers your emotional capacity to deal with surprises, all of that kind of thing. So if you're just aware of when that feeling comes on, again, just take, like, take a few deep breaths. That's going to be your biggest brain tool in the world is take a few deep breaths because that settles all the horses down. Um, and then think, okay, what do I want? What's the best possible outcome here? Um, so maybe going into the holidays, it's, you know what, we we're just, um, we're um, patient and we wait until the weather's good. We wait until the roads are clear and then we travel. Uh, maybe it's, you know what, we just, um, we just had a good time and we played games and, you know, the family just all related really well to each other. Everybody got along. The more you can clearly describe the picture the way you want it, that gets those autopilot horses all moving in the direction. So you're going to be inspired to take action that'll get you in that direction. The words that come out of your mouth are going to be moving in that direction. Um, your energy, your motivation, your excitement, all of that is going to be moving in the right direction. So there's a very personal example for what may be coming up the rest of the week. So then also take that and think about, okay, what do I want for my business in December? And what do I want my business to look like next year? Kind of right now, I would say give yourself a good picture of um, sort of planning in quarters, like January, February, March. What's going to work for my business? You know, think about what's coming up in your family. What's going to work in my business January through March and first quarter of the year? And then what do I want my business to look like second quarter of the year? What's coming up for my family? What do I want my business to look like? So just um, you taking time to sit down and preferably with pen and paper because pen and paper are like a shortcut to programming those horses. Um, that is so incredibly powerful. Instead of just taking off and like grabbing the reins of your one horse and plowing forward without taking any time to get all the other 19 um, going in the same direction, it's incredibly powerful when you sit down and do what you want. So what a lot of people will do, I know there's a lot of people that have um, special, you know, 12 days of Christmas sales. Uh, Norwex is also doing something. We don't know what it is, um, but that will be a Norwex sponsored sale. That will be 12 days of deals. I don't remember what exactly they're calling it. So that will be coming up in December. Um, it might be that you'll be looking at whatever they offer and seeing, you know, specific customers. You might have a ton of parties scheduled at the beginning of December. Um, and even if you don't, if you want a couple, you absolutely still can get a couple scheduled in the beginning of December. Now, what I like to um, model for people and what I'll encourage you to do is get your whole December worth of work done by December 16th by the day for submitting orders for the holiday shipping deadline, and then give yourself some time off. But while you're working in December, 
you're also setting up your January. So that's why right now is the time to think, okay, what do I want my business to look like in January, February, March? When do I want to do parties? When are my work nights? So if you get that set up, then when you are talking to people in December, whether you're talking to them about sales, whether you're talking to them at parties, you have on the brain, who are my January hosts? Who are my January hosts? And sit down and write out, again, this is getting those horses working for you, Sit down and write out, who are my ideal January hosts? Maybe you like to do online parties in January and February because they're not dependent on the weather. So in that case, you want people who are really active online, who um, communicate with a lot of friends online, maybe people who have a lot of friends and family around the country, maybe they're your ideal January, February host, right? So sit down and write down, who are, what's my ideal business in January and February? And then as you go through working the first two weeks of December, you're going to be setting up your January and February, right? So then you can take a couple of weeks off knowing that your January business is already set up. So I am going to stop there. And um, like I said, I'll hang around for a bit. I'm going to watch the rest of your meeting and um, I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have in the comments, but I just want to cheer you on in really making the most of the next few weeks and then having a couple of weeks really focused on your family. And then we're going to start 2020. Can you believe it? 2020 is what we'll be starting off and it's going to be a really cool year. So talk to you all soon.